Big earnings are on board. Amazon and Alphabet, yes, we need to know the ABCs of the trading day and also the WTFs of what's going on this week. So we have Matt Cheslock here to tell us, well, what's going on? Well, you promised me a nice quiet day today, so we'll see what we can get from there. That's true. There's not too much drama, but yeah, the markets are red. How much of this is this pension story? Um, well, you know, any news story has a, a very short cycle, and, and that's what's going on right now. You get these sh these short windows of uh, of coverage, and they do royal the markets, and you know so it's going to play a part of it. Uh, just as you know, two days ago, what we expected out of Trump in the in the State of the Union that played a huge part in in, in the market moving events. Now, you know, hopefully, earnings will eventually take forefront because that's what we should be focused on down here. So did any of these new developments unhinge the expectations that energy will be the new hot sector? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, you see, you know, energy t has, uh, you know, held its uh, the floor pretty good here. Uh, you know, the worry was if it broke through like 63, 64, that, you know, we could see it break 60 pretty quickly. It didn't happen. Uh, we're starting to see energy companies get catch the bid on any kind of uh, any kind of pullback um, that the other sectors have gotten for the last 18 months. Energy never really had that. Now we're starting to see that uh, every little decline, it, it catches a bid. And that's a positive for energy. The reason I'm asking is because taking a look, uh, utilities has uh, has come to rise on the top, and I know we joke about what's going to cause the next correction. It is concerning that has been used as a you know a catalyst or a, a reason. So what do you think? Well, you know, I mean, rates are going to be very important as you go forward here. You know, you start to see the ten-year, you know, two seven four. The worry was if it had ten, tens. Uh, 275, uh, you know, the market was going to have a 15% correction and we were going to see 3%. Um, you know, so I, I think that story kind of played out. We're a little bit immune to that. We had to expect that rates were eventually going to rise here. But, uh, you know, defensive portfolios with utilities, they could start to see a bid too. You know, as you mentioned, that could be something to look at. They've been beaten down for so long. You know, they haven't provided that growth story. Uh, they're really not value. Uh, but now they may become a staple of your portfolio. Yes. Are there any new types of safe havens besides gold? Well, look, now the cryptocurrency is really running into some some uh, some headline concerns, you know. And the latest one I saw was you know propping up from maybe one exchange. Uh, that's never a good sign if you're an investor. There's so much competition as far as all the cryptocurrencies that are out there that gold has gotten a bid. Um, I think that's going to remain a safe haven. It's a real asset. It's tangible. Uh, it's something that we know and can trust. So um, you know, some of the older smart money probably say, you know what, I need my five percent holding in gold. Uh, maybe I'm not going to play in Bitcoin as much anymore. Well, I guess the next big news or good news that we'll be looking for is who wins the Super Bowl this weekend. Although I don't think, oh wait, Feather, feather people are playing. Eagles are playing, although you are a Falcons fan, right? Yes, I am a Falcon fan. The Eagles took me out, uh, so uh, a little disappointed there. So, um, you know, there's a lot of people in New York that are very conflicted as far as the Eagles and Patriots, two of the biggest rivals of the Jets and the Giants. So uh, just interesting to go out with them and have some fun and, uh, you know, pull their chains a little bit. There you go. All right, Ches. Well, thank you so much for meeting me with me today and have a good weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl. All right. You too, boss.